If I want to dress my wife up with Victoria's Secrets, you better not bother me. That's right. That's my body. That's right. That's right. If I want her to wear the clothes of Jane who swung with Tarzan, you better not bother me. Amen. Why? I got power over that body. The wife has not power of she her own body. She come out in Jane clothing and I, oh, 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 oh. Motive behind what you have. Motive. Motive behind what you do. And that's what is meant when it says love not the world, yeah. neither the things that are in the world. In the world. Your motive behind it. Yeah. Because the man got them care for the things of the world to please his wife. That's right. Gotcha. That's why he go to that lingerie store. Mm. He got a motive behind it. <laughs> that's right. Huh? That's right. That's right. He goes to that lingerie store. Yeah. Well, Pastor Jennings, I'm holy. I don't holy. buy those <laughs> things for my wife because those things are not becoming. You got power over her body. That's right. That body, that body is yours. If I want to dress my wife up with Victoria's Secrets, you better not bother me. That's right. That's my body. That's right. If I want her to wear the clothes of Jane who swung with Tarzan, you better not bother me. Amen. Why? I got power over that body. The wife has not power over her own body. She come out body. in Jane clothing and I, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> huh? You better not bother me. You better not bother you. <laughs> hey, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. <laughs> That's right. That's Wait. the call of the wild. Don't say nothing. <laughs> Glory to God. Do you see what I'm telling you? That's right. That's right. The Bible said, don't be righteous over much. Oh, don't, be don't be a fool. Do you hear? Amen. That's why folks need a preacher who can break down the scriptures. Yeah. They become righteous over much. Some women become righteous over much. Husband, Holy Ghost filled, just like she is, baptized, walking with the truth, and he want to put on a negligee. Well, that's of the world. It's not a sin for you to put that on for your husband. No. Well, the Bible says come up the shame of your nakedness. Why would you? Look, if your husband want to see your nakedness, it's his. It's his. Yes, sir. Well, suppose the Lord come. Lord, help the people. The Lord ain't thinking about your negligee. He ain't thinking about it. The only time God will speak against it when you got it on for a man that ain't your husband. That's it. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. <laughs> More holy than thou. I was going to buy you a negligee and you want to keep wearing sackcloth and ashes to bed. <laughs> Something from 1812 all the way down to your feet. Got a collar come all the way up to here. <laughs> right. And got socks on. Somebody, that's your husband. You're not on no date with some boyfriend you ain't married to. It's your husband. That's your husband. Now look, now look how backward you are. He wants you to wear that, and you say no because I'm out the will of God. So what you put on, he end up taking off. <laughs> so you still naked. So why you not out of the will of God then? That's right. I want to educate you. You can shout in 2021. Amen. That's why a lot of marriages dissolve because we are overzealous yeah. and overrighteous and we went past the Bible. Past, that's right. We didn't stay in the Bible. We ran past it. That's right. That's right. Amen. Get what I'm telling you now. Back in 1 John 2 and verse 15. Otherwise Ooh. in that, you know, you brothers that are married and you sisters, you sisters that are married, you're young, you got a husband and whatnot. There's no sin for you to, if you want to see you in a negligee right. and all that. Yeah, man, you ain't got to be around your husband all the time and no wool flannel gown all the way down to your knees like you some Quaker or, me, or, or Midianite. That's right. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. You ain't you ain't going to church every day. That's right. <laughs> Amen. My wife know I ain't I ain't got to keep preaching that. My <laughs> wife know you you better not come in this bed. Come on. Dressed like you getting ready for a convention. <laughs> not here. That's right. Amen. That's Amen. right. I'm anointed up here. I don't need no anointing in bed. I don't need no anointing in bed at all. At all. A lot of y'all go overboard with this. That's right. And this is what break up a lot of marriages. That's right. There's a time and a season for everything, everything under the sun. Right. When you overzealous and you overrighteous, <laughs> here you are, young woman and young man. Only in your teens or 20s mm. and 30s. And here you are going on your honeymoon. Just got married on Saturday. You took a flight. Going maybe to Florida or Hawaii somewhere. And he's in there. Got all cleaned up. Got his new wife. Putting on hey, his yeah, aftershave. Yes. 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 <sighs> yeah. Come on out. He jump on the bed on the couch. Sit there. <sighs> hey, right. That's it. That's it. Waiting for this day. Thank you. Jesus. She's taking long to come out, and he's out there. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Next thing you know, she come out. Hold it. Hold no. No. She come out. Come on, Jay. Looking stern. Stern. <laughs> Looking like she Esther. Yes. Just looking. Oh, no. No. And he's That's like, great. wait, 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 what's, what's going on? What's, what's going on? Oh, no. We're going we to pray before you touch this. I can't hear that. I can't hear that. We're going to pray. <laughs> no way. Now, you're bearing over Zellius. Head covered, all the way down to your wrist. Lord, don't even have a crew neck on, a collar that come up. What? <laughs> My Lord, like colonial days. No. My Lord. The Amen. reason why a lot of folk do this is because they ain't got no teaching. You ain't got no teaching. That's right. That's right. But Pastor Jennings, how is it that my wife, my husband can tell me he don't want to see me with that stuff on? I don't think that's right. Hmm. Seventh chapter, first Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter seven and verse four. Let's see what the Bible says. First Corinthians seven and verse four. Yeah, man. The wife has the not, wife has not power. Don't have power of her own body. Of her own body. But but the husband. The husband. And likewise. And likewise. Also the husband. The husband has not power. Don't have power of his own of body. Of his own body. But but the wife. The wife. That's it. That's right. So she want to see him dressed like Tarzan. <laughs> and he want to see her dressed like Jane. That's right. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's the truth of it. And this is why some marriages don't work. You're so over-righteous. Yeah. He want to be romantic with his wife. Now, 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 now. And then you tell your husband, go get it from somebody else. Let me tell you something, woman. You cannot never tell your man that. No, no. Because what you won't do, somebody out there will. That's right. That's right. You don't send your man to no other woman. Are you a fool? Amen. On, Get it from somebody else. Then if you do, don't bring them to me. That's right. Right. That's right. Because if you build it, they will come. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. So if your husband want to see you in negligees and whatnot with matching pumps and lace, lace gloves with your fingers out. That's and right. Wonderful. <laughs> yes. Want to see you come in and stand at the door like you Mae West. <laughs> come on, Jay. 
come up and see me sometime. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Amen. There ain't no time to look at your husband. You know, the devil's in you. I'm, you need to pray. You need to fast. You got the mind of the world. <laughs> Come on. That's true. He ain't married you to have prayer. He can single be, and be prayerful. That's, That's right. You done took holiness too far until you made a nutcase out of yourself. True. That's what'll happen. That's true. The Bible speaks plain. The wife has not power of her own body but the husband. Do you hear that? In yeah. 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 4. And likewise also the husband has not power because of his own body. Because you're trying to be saved when you got a husband and a wife, that don't mean you cannot be with each other. That's no. Right. The only way you can be with each other is only in prayer. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, is right. It's right. <laughs> the Bible says in all thine getting, get an understanding. Get an understanding. Yeah. Amen. That's right. My wife come in my room like that, she's joking me. You know, she's joking me. Right off the bat, she's joking me. You're being pranked, Pastor. Yeah, she's, I'm being, being pranked. pranked. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm being pranked. I'm being pranked. Right. God knows. That's right. And I'm going to prank her back when I get them scissors and cut them things off. That's right. <laughs> cut her right out of them. Oh, yes. You know what you're doing? Uh, you shouldn't have came in here. That's right. <laughs> Wonderful. There you go. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm trying to save a lot of y'all's marriages. Yeah. You done took the Bible and went overboard. went overboard. You fell over and hit your head on a can of zeal. <laughs> That's right. So zealous, you made a fool out yourself. That's right. You run your husband out the house and run your wife out the house. Yeah. That's right. And because you got a wife, that doesn't mean you got to talk about the Bible 24 hours a day. No. Well, my right. mind has stayed on Jesus. Your mind ain't stayed on him all the time. Stop telling that lie. <laughs> That's right.